Hello, darlings. You're on place of Minecraft. <laughs> I am channeling my inner Mr. High Llama today because he has not done any videos in a long time. And I'm missing Mr. High Llama's videos. So, Mr. High Llama, if you're watching, I want to encourage you to, you know, just record something for us, honey. Because we miss you, buddy. Any hoozles. So, actually, today we are going to do some Botania. I have not done any Botania with you guys in, like, a minute. It's been, like, forever since we've done any Botania. And I've got me, I've got a nice little mana pool set up going on here. I don't know why I have so many mana pools. I know I have this one separate. This one is separate because it's hanging out over here on my catalyst. And the catalyst, I'm going to show you that here in a minute, but it, it is super cool. It can help you turn um, really not cool stuff into, well, you know, I'm going to show you right now. I've got some zombie flesh here. I'm going to show you what this does. Watch this. You take stuff. And you throw it into your catalyst, or into your mana pool sitting on top of your catalyst, and it turns it into other stuff. Isn't that cool? Turns zombie flesh into leather. Isn't that awesome? I love it. Love it, love it. I don't know what that, it won't turn anything into. It's really fun. It does a lot of stuff. I wonder if it turns, turns a zombie head into anything. Nope. Okay, but it, it does a lot of stuff. I haven't gone through everything that it does yet, and um, I'm going to do a whole tutorial episode on the catalyst and how to make one and what you can do with it and all that fun stuff but today darling is all about runic fun <laughs> i am going to make something that's really awesome i i have a lot uh well you know i've got a lot of these babies going and one of them right here is an endo flame i'd like to get several endo flames going on but I need some kind of an automated system to do this. And I'm going to work kind of on that. Um, one of the things that I also want to do, and I'm going to plant my apple right, chill, get me an apple tree going. And that's because what I'm going to eventually do is I want a grove of apple trees right here. And I'm going to put a really cool flower down on the ground in between all of the trees and it is called, let me show you, Rachia. We are going to Functional Flora, and it is a hopper hawk. And what the hopper hawk does, it's like a hopper, but it's a flower. Is that not the coolest thing ever? I'm already recording, Al, but thanks for asking. <laughs> I'm already there, Al, but I'm already, let's say I'm already recording. Already recording. Al, but thanks for asking. Yeah, we could sleep. Anyways, okay, back to this. I'm going to have the grove of apple trees. I'm going to have my hopper hawk right smack dab in the middle with a big chest right there. So the hopper hawk can pick up all my apples and stick it in the chest. And what I think would be really cool would be like to have a tree farm going on and do something like that. So, I don't know. I guess we'll see. But the very first thing that I need for my hopper hawk is a rune. And I need... Oh, actually, I need redstone root. Oh, cred nuggets. What do I need for that? Oh, that's easy enough. Redstone and grass. Okay. And then I need the rune of air, which is what I'm creating over here that is taking, you know, like, godly amounts of time. I think I'm going to steal... You know what? I think... Yeah, I think I'm going to steal these day blooms and I'm going to put them around the other hopper or around the other mana spreader because, because we need to s expedite this a little bit. I don't know if that'll, I don't know if that'll cause any issues. Whoops, that will, it can't go there. These flowers, when you place flowers like day blooms and nightshades, they have to go, you can't put them right next to each other because they don't like that. So I'm going to look and see if I've any shears. I'm going to speak like Great Wolf a bit. My darling friend Great Wolf, who's a ton of fun, lots of fun to be around. Um, I cannot wait until we are able to actually do some kind of a group recording session with him because he's so much fun. He's so awesome. And if you haven't watched any of his videos, well then, shame on you. You need to go and watch some Great Wolf, great wolf videos because he's awesome. 
And you especially want to look for videos that have his babies in them, his children, because they are like the most adorable things on the planet. I'm serious. I don't know what it is, but baby British accents, I just, I love them so much. They're so sweet and so awesome. Anyways, enough of that. Okay. Cheers, let's go get some grass, shall we? You can go in there with your friends. I kill a lot of zombies, it seems. Because zombies are fun to kill. Killing zombies for fun and profit. Yeah, looky there. Heck yeah. That was super easy to make. I can't believe how easy that was, actually. That's, that's weird. <laughs> that's weird. Okay, so we need... For this, I need mystical gray petal, gray mana petal, light gray. Okay, so I need two gray and two light gray. Where is my trusty pouch? Sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. There, you go back. Put you back where you came from. Put that thing back where it came from and so help me. So help me. So help me and cut. Do any of you ever just, you know, sing random Disney songs? I do. I think I annoy Keelan with that. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, let's see. All right, I'm going to look in my house, in my chest, and see if perhaps I have gray mana or gray... You know what I mean, my flower pouch. I know I have gray in there. I just need my pouch. I need me pouch. There it is, exactly where I thought it was. All right, so we need... We need a light gray flower, and we need a gray flower. I will just put these things right back in here, because I don't need any of those at the moment. I'm going to keep you, put you there, and put you there, because I don't need you either right now. Okay. I am going to keep my mana star handy, because I'm going to go show you what it does real quick, because it's kind of a cool little flower, too, that I just love. It comes in quite handy. It's a technical flower which I love. Okay, what you do with the, um, what you do with this mana star here is you're going to set it right next to your um, mana pool. And it's going to tell you whether you're getting a loss or gain out of your mana pool. And it's going to do that by kind of shooting off wispy, um, wispy sparkles. <laughs> wispy sparkles. No relation to Robin sparkles, I promise. Um, Anyway, it's it's gonna show shoot off some not shoot off, but it'll just you know kind of like your mana pool just kind of does that. It's gonna do that, um, and it's gonna be blue if you're good, and it's gonna be red if you have a loss. So, why that's not going right now, I don't know, but we'll come back and check on that later. As for right now, we are going to make some mystical. Well, we're gonna make mana petals. And making a mana petal, super, super easy. You just drop it in your mana pool. Voila. Et voila. Now stays home, joins the game. Welcome back, buddy. Buddy. Okay, so it is... Right now, it's not doing anything. Okay, keep your eye on the mana star. We're going to drop a blue petal in and make a mana petal. And nothing. 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 Really? Okay, let's try it again. Oh, there we go. Oh, see, see, it's, it farted red. <laughs> that means we have a loss, a mana loss. That means it's not gaining any mana. So that's, that's good. That's actually what's supposed to be happening right now with that because I don't think I have anything really to give mana right now because the mana spreader... Oh, I don't know where it thinks it's getting mana from, but apparently it thinks it's getting mana from something. All right. Oh, come on. You're taking forever. We are about halfway there. Yay. All right. So what um, I'm going to do then is I am going to putter around. <laughs> Maybe sleeping... Looky there. Oh, seriously. It was right there. Anyways, anyways. Oh, did I show you? <laughs> this was the gift from Mr. Hylama. <laughs> this is the culprit that caused all the damage. Yeah. Yeah. 
it actually it's not in exactly the same position that it was in because at one point in time I accidentally hit it while trying to get into the chest. Which yeah. I've taken a little bit of wood out of here, but not much because I love it. I think it's so funny and so cool. Oh, funny story. Funny story. All right, so I've been sitting here. Oh, hello, zombie. Um, I'm going to come over here. I was actually over there at the runic altar trying to make runes and things. And it was not making. And I could not for the life of me figure this out because I was like, what is going on? I really, really need these runes to be made. And my runic altar is not accepting mana. Why would it not be accepting mana? I could not figure it out. I changed the location. I changed the placement. I changed the kind of material that it was setting on. All kinds of stuff. You want to know what the issue was? You ready for this? I had the wrong formula. I was missing an ingredient. <laughs> I had everything but the string ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Anyways. <laughs> All right. I'm going to come hide out in here until morning. And then we will see if our runic altar is ready to go. So I will be right back. See you in a second. Okay. We are back. We got a flaming zombie. Oh, another head. Did I get another head? Did I really pick it up? I don't I don't know if that Oh, there it is. Give me your head. Thank you. Uh, all right. We are going to check our altar. Ugh. Takes forever. Let's go kill another zombie, shall we? So, there has been a lack of shenanigans going on on this server. I don't know if you guys have noticed or not. Well, other than, you know, Mr. High Lama flying a helicopter into my house but other than that there has been a little bit of a lack of shenanigans going on and I really think we need more shenanigans in this place really because shenanigans are fun shenanigans are awesome hello oh dude oh 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 that was scary that was scary. So I need ideas, peeps. We need a, we need to do something amazing. Oh, look! Now there's like a little sparkle thing going on over there. What's that about? What's that about? We're over halfway now. I'm going to actually put some dirt around here, and I'm going to move my, I'm going to move my day blooms around. We're just going to do a little terraforming here, kids. A little terraforming. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. I'm going to take you and you. You and you. And we are going to put you here. And we're going to put you here. And that should improve things ever so slightly. You're there, you're there, you're there. You're there, you're there, you're there. You're there. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We're okay, almost there. All right. So I'm just gonna hang around. I'm gonna I'm gonna putter around a bit while this continues because really I don't have much else that I can show you right now. You know what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna make a tiny potato, tiny potato. He is my buddy, my buddy, buddy. <laughs> tiny potato. You know what? I wish I could find that zombie because I would totally sit here and eat this jerky right in front of his face. Where is he? Is that cruel? Is that cruel? Are the people for the ethical treatment of zombies going to... Uh, Pizzi? <laughs> <laughs> People for the ethical treatment of zombies. Pizza. Pizza. Ooh, pizza. Yeah, that doesn't taste like pizza. <sighs> Anyways. All right. Let's see where we are with our... With our... Um, 
We need to go to... Oh, almost there. We're about three quarters of the way done. Okay. Now I really am going to putter around while this finishes up because I don't want to bore you with any more junk and stuffs. And I will see you in just a second. Bye-bye. So, where are we at? Oh, so slow. Okay. All right. I'm going to putter some more. Putter, putter, putter. Did Al come back on? No, he never came back on. I hope I didn't anger him. <laughs> Because there's no way for me to actually get in touch with them and say, hey, Al, you know, I'm good. <laughs> you can come back now. I'm going to set my tiny potato up there. Isn't he cute? Hello, sweetie. Oh, oh, I got an achievement. He loves me. That makes me so happy. So happy. I wonder if I make two tiny potatoes, if they'll make a baby tiny potato. Oh. <gasps> Baby potatoes! Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I keep saying I'm gonna let you... I, I keep saying I'm gonna go and come back, and I never do. I know, I'm sorry. I, I'm totally, you know, just spazzed. Totally spazzed. I'm caffeinated right now. <laughs> I've had, like, four cups of coffee. And, on top of that, I am officially off of artificial sweeteners. And so what that means... Let's see... Hello, tiny potato. Let's see if we can make two babies. Um, anyway, what that means is if I have anything sweet, I have something with real sugar in it. And here we go. So I got you and I got you. I got you and I got you. Oh, uh, you love me, but you don't love each other. Oh, uh, what a shame. Okay. Anyways. Um... So I don't have sugar very often, but right now I'm drinking one of those little mini cans of soda. Um, and it, it, it happens to have real sugar in it and caffeine. So I'm a little hyper right now. So sorry. I'm like a 12 year old at the moment. A 12 year old with ADD. That's me right now. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, here's another one of those uh, gardens. Let me show you this. This is a ground garden, which I think is going to have things like zucchini and stuff. Oh, it's got, what is that? Sweet potato, peanut, carrots. Yeah, that's pretty cool stuff. All right, so um, I need a bucket of water. Where'd my buckets go? I know that I had buckets. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, where the heck are my buckets? Oh, this is... Don't tell Mr. High Llama. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> like I said, I accidentally hit it. it was a total accident. It really was an accident. I swear it. <laughs> I swear it was an accident. I promise. They're so cute. They get so happy when I walk into a room. Hi, guys. Hi. 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 You're so sweet. I love you so much. They're just like little puppies, except they're potatoes. So cute. So cute. Okay. So we're going to have some water. We're going to put some water into our... Not from that bucket, apparently. But we're going to add some water to our petal apothecary here. Because we are going to need to put water into the petal apothecary. All right. We've got that. We've got that. We've got that. We've got that. Um, I think the only thing that we're missing is the rune. Functional flora. Hopper hawk. Um, yes, we need the Rune of Air, Redstone Root, Mystical Gray Petal, Mano Petal. Okay, yeah, so I have everything except for the Rune. So the Rune is all we are waiting on right now. So come on, Rune, do your magic baby. Oh, so close, so close. Where's my... I need my living rock. Ugh, dude, really? Come on. Oh, there it is. I swear you would think somebody is voxering me. Someone is voxering me. I need that wand in my hand so that I can keep check on that. Okay, now we're getting super close. The really cool thing that happens when this is ready is it'll start shooting sparks. If you are a homeschooler, you know what? If you're a homeschooler, I would love 
to give you a shout out. So if you're a homeschooler and you're watching this right now, leave me a comment and tell me that you're a homeschooler. Tell me if you're a parent or, or a child. And let's see, let's make this really fun. Tell me your favorite thing about homeschooling. Oh, looky there. We're ready. We're ready. We're ready. We're ready. Here we go. I think I do this. That what I do? No. God. <laughs> that wasn't it. <laughs> that was not it. I think maybe I hit it. Do I hit it with it? No. Um, hang on. Let me put that in my hand. No. Do I drop it on there? Do I just do that? Is that what happens? No. Hello, what do I do with this? How do I make a rune? How do I make a rune? <laughs> How do I make a rune? How do I make a rune? Drop a piece. <gasps> oh! Oh, oh, okay. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, here we go. There we go. Oh, that gave me three. Awesome. Three runes of air. Heck yeah. Okay, and I got... Now we, we are going to make us a hopper hot, kids. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Thanks. All right, here we go. We are going to add our rune of air. Our mystical gray petal, our mystical light gray petal, our gray mana petal, our light gray mana petal, our redstone root, and our seeds. And look at our kitties, we have a hopper hawk! Hallelujah! And I'm going to, okay, really quick, I'm going to show you guys what this does, alright? We're going to stick that, it's right next to a chest, and I'm going to drop, oh wait, do I need mana for this if I need mana this may be I may need mana for this giving giving it mana is optional okay well since we're so close this should work so what you do is you're just going to drop your rune right there on top and it should uh-huh and now my rune should be in the chest there it is look at that is that not the coolest thing ever I love it it is so cool. The really cool thing is if you get an item frame and you put an item frame on your chest, then it will sort it. It will put only that item in the chest. So when I make the tree farm over here with the apples, if we go, if we can go for an automated thing somehow or another, then I can make one for, I can make one for um, apples, one for wood and one for saplings. So that'll be so cool. I am so thrilled, you guys, that this worked. I am just so thrilled. Oh, it didn't take it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Drop it in. My chest is not full. Surely not. Is it? It's not, is it? Did it take it? Yep, it took it. There it is. Okay. So, oh, that is exciting. I'm so happy right now. So happy. Yay. This, ladies and gentlemen, was a happy, happy episode. Yay, yay, yay. I'm going to show you all. I don't know if the, <laughs> if the, if it's aired or not, but this was my skin. I told you guys about filming with the high llamas on the, on the fallout map. This was my skin. And we are, we are vault 92, which, if you are a Fallout enthusiast, you will remember that Vault 92 was the musician's vault, which makes sense for Keelan and I, because Keelan's a drummer, I'm a singer. You know, it kind of goes like that, right? Anyways. All right, kids. Well, I am so glad that you guys were here to join me for this really successful episode. I'm insanely happy with that. I cannot wait to make more. I think that's my... Actually, that is my very first functional flower that I think I have ever made. I don't think I have ever... Yeah, that's the first one that... Wait, maybe I've made a tiger's eye one. Nope, I haven't made tiger's eye. Although, although, I plan on making a whole bunch of tiger's eyes for obvious reasons. <clears throat> yeah. 
I'm going to make a whole bunch of those suckers and just put them all over the place. Anyway. All right, kitties. Thank you so much for joining me. So glad that this was successful. Um, I just leave a comment, leave a like, and subscribe if you haven't already. And like I said, if you're a homeschooler, talk to me, kids. Let me know. Let me know what your favorite subject is. Tell me whatever, and I will give you a shout out. So we will see you guys next time right here on 4Nerds Gaming. Thanks for joining us. Hasta luego. Bye.